It's Pete from Cheap Homesteading. We're heading back to the bee yard and we're going to load up a bunch of hive bodies. And we're going to head out to my other uh, bee yard and install those nukes we made into full size hives. <laughs> I wanted to get out in the bee yard early, get my hives, get out to the other yard because it is going to become really, really hot today. And inside a bee suit uh, is just, it's crazy. So we're going to load up some of the bee boxes, get out there, and then I can get out of this bee suit. I don't need to be in the bee suit now, but the mosquitoes have not let up at all this year. So it's just been crazy. I'm going to try to get as many boxes that has drawn comb as possible. Uh, that's what you want. You want drawn combs so when the queen lays in them, she can just go at it. They don't have to build the comb. We need about 15 bottom boards, two, three, oh, here's one, got to clean it out though. Okay, so inner lids, one, two, three. Can't see anything. So these are the nukes we made last weekend. We're going to go through them and we're going to see that the queens are all good and we're going to put them in full size hive bodies. So about a week and a bit ago, I made up these nukes. I threw queens in them. We're going to make sure they all got released and I'm going to move them into a bigger box because next weekend we go away on holidays and I need them to be in a bigger box so they can just keep growing. Ideally, you like it to be two weeks before you move them after the queen settles in, but I don't have time, so. We're gonna pull out the queen cage. The queen was released. Now we're gonna to check to see how she's doing. Now I better use my gloves. The thing is with nukes, you never know how they're gonna be. Uh, they seem pretty calm, but if they're having trouble accepting the queen, the whole hive is a little on edge and I, prefer not to get stung more than I have to. We lift her up. We're checking. Ah, oh, she is in there and she is laying. Those are eggs. So that's awesome. They accepted her. We're just going to try to find her. Oh, 
There's the queen. There's the queen there. She's marked. We are going to put her in the hive. That's awesome. We're going to throw these other frames in here. This one here, I think, was honey more than anything. Well, we're going to throw that back in. Okay. One thing you really have to do with foundationless frames like I use, so I, there's no wax foundation for the bees to start with. I basically want to make sure that I try to put empty frames in between fully drawn frames because bees try to build parallel comb. So I kind of want to work on that. If any way possible, I don't want to put a bunch of empty frames because they can go any which way. Um, but at the very least, if you put a box on top of here, you have one drawn comb up the center for sure, or it'll go bad. We'll knock these out. I'm gonna put a lid on it. And we'll move on to the next one. Let's see if the queen got released. The queen definitely got released. Queen cage. Okay, we're gonna try to break this loose. Pull it out gently. What do I see? What do I see? I see three day old larvae, which that would mean that she is actually laying in there. Oh, there she is. She's a little bit smaller, but she's really, really good. So we're gonna throw her in the new hive. Okay, there's a lot laid in here and nectar. Okay. We are gonna knock these in here. So they're all queen right. The queens were accepted in all of them. Uh, so that is absolutely great acceptance for sure. So there you go. I made it back by nine. It's just starting to get really hot out. So I'll try to do some activities that are a little bit cooler this afternoon. So that's about enough for today and you guys have a good one.